Have I gone mad? Studies say yes. Hey, Trucker Matsy here. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome to a new mod uh, review. How to. How to use Sugar Beat Add-on. If this is something that you want to watch. No, I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> Love you, former cop. I can't do that. But anyways, uh, what we're going to do is... <laughs> if anybody got the reference, I'm sorry. Anyways, um... <laughs> Sugar Beat Company. This is a PC mod only, and it does require Global Company. For some obvious reasons. But... Anywho... So, what comes with the mod? Here's what comes with it. If you go to Placeables, go to Global Company real quick. Here we got Sugar Beet Company, uh, Sugar Beet, or <laughs> Super Feed Pellet Press, and we got Premium Sugar Factory. These are the two factories we are using today. I see there's nothing else. We got, we got some other stuff here, but that's not, that's not a part of this. And then, if you go to Cell Points, right here, you got these three right here. Uh, Sugar Beet Company Marketplace. Super Feed Pellets Cell Point. Premium Sugar Cell Point. And you see the various things that each place will accept. Right here on the bottom. You got sugar, molasses, and then the, uh, the pellets. This one's just pellets. And again, this one takes all three. So there is that. Alright. So now that that is all done, because I actually have placed... All these uh, the cell points and the factories already. Now, I will tell you. So, first things first. What do we all get with these factories? Easiest way to do, do with this. And a lot of times this is with multiple of global company mods. If you just walk up to said factory. You'll get this little help window right here. As you see. Oh, I can't put the little arrow, arrow thing on it. But on the bottom right here, you see the outputs, molasses, beet pulp, and sugar. And on the input, you see lime and sugar beets. So legit, all you have to put in here is sugar beets. And I've already put lime in here. Uh, this was actually from the live stream the other day. Um, but the lime is in there already. I just need to dump this little sugar beets in there. So we will go ahead and do that real quick. Like so. Oh no, not the slow jump. Alright, well, we'll be right back once this is done. Unloading. Alright, we've finished unloading. And we actually have some more, um, space. So let's go ahead and see how much sugar beet it actually does take. So we'll go ahead and... Cheat cheat F11 some more sugar beets into the trailer here. There we go. Got another full trailer. That was really quick. And we'll finish unloading this. Alright, so we get 72,000 liters as a capacity on these things. And, uh... <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing because Clutch is communicating with me about the server and the uh, map that we we're playing on. Uh, he said, "Ugh, it's painful." <laughs> oh man. Anyways, um, <laughs> so now that we are here, we have lime, we have sugar beets. All we need now is time to pass. So just like a BGA, it does liters per hour. Blah 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 blah. So, what we're going to do is just going to fast forward one hour just to see what happens. Eh, it's slightly more than an hour. Anyway, so as you can see here, the molasses, we got 23 liters. We got beet pulp of 433 and sugar of 434. So, as you can tell, this is slightly a slow process. But, it's automatic. You don't... All you have to do is once... The sugar and 
the once these pallets get full, you just have to take them off. Like that's not that big a deal at all. And then right here is where the your pulp comes out. Um, we're not going to grab any of that yet. Um, we are going to go ahead and just run through one full uh, capacity of this factory. Just to get to what we need to get to. <laughs> All right, so we'll see you in, I think, like, day and a half. All right, as you can see here, um, it is not completely done, but... I have full pallets. And that was... I think that was... I didn't, wasn't keeping track. I think it was like a day. <laughs> I'll find out here in a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and grab... Uh, the... Forklift there. And we're going to... We're going to move these real quick here. Alright. So we're in the Bobcat. There's not really a ramp here. So we're just going to drive this off the old-fashioned way. There we go. Magic. Let's see, how is this thing? There we go. A little bit wider. There. Alright, let's go move these pallets real quick. So, as I was, uh... Preparing for this video, I just... There's some different things that we'll see here in a little bit. And you will be very... Very excited. I do believe that this is ultimately going to be a game changer for a lot of uh, PC players. And we will get to that in a little bit. But I just thought I'd show, share that information with you guys. I'd love to see a said pack. This is so cool. The forks are way better than the base game forks. The ability to move, all that fun stuff. All right, so we'll just uh, time lapse this real quick. See if I can do this relatively easy. If not, you know, whatevs. All right, so now we can continue to fast forward time and I'm, we're basically just going to keep on going until we run out of sugar beets just to see what one full load would give us. So we will hopefully see you in the next couple days here. <laughs> uh, let's go! Well, that is it. That is one full load of sugar beets. As you can see, we got what, four... Five, six, almost seven full, uh, pallets. So we're just going to go with that and, uh, and get things set up for the next, uh, process here. All right. So I finished loading up the sugar onto the flatbed here. Let's go ahead and hop in here and strap these down real quick. Oh no, it's... <laughs> It strapped this thing down, didn't it? It did! <laughs> oh, watch this. This is... Oh, it pulled the, the... That's hilarious. So that makes the... That makes that strappable. That's hilarious. Alright, well, I'm gonna unstrap it real quick. <laughs> and then pull that out. Oh, brutal. Alright. Let's go ahead and drop this down real quick. Oh. Oh, now what I do? There we go. Ah, so much better. All right. <laughs> now we'll strap this down. Okay, so. With where we're at right now. We have this is finished product. We can't use this for anything else. Other than like what other factories use it. But for our purposes today. This sugar is a final product. Now that being said. We don't have final products of molasses. Now technically we can sell this. And we are going to do the things that we can do with this mod. So let's check, check that out real quick here. Alright so this is where we're at right here. We had sugar beets. 
and we made molasses, sugar, and beet pulp. Cool. Now, molasses, uh, this, this graph isn't fully completed yet because uh, the modder has, is actually going to add in the ability to make biodiesel out of the molasses on a later point. But right now, this is what we're working with. So there's that. So we got molasses that we can just sell straight to Bitcoin, aka money. <laughs> or we can use it with beet pulp and make feed pellets. And that will be interesting because we've got some stuff over here that we're going to mess with. Or we could use the beet pulp to use at the BGA. So we have some options here. Like I said, sugar. That's that's pretty much that's your big monies right here is the sugar that comes out of the the sugar beets and all that fun stuff. But we have options here, so let's take a look at that. All right, so we have the molasses out. We have the sugar, which that is pretty much a constant with this completed sugar. Yeah, like I said. Anyway, so we have two things we can do with the molasses. And we have actually technically three things we have with the beet pulp. I'm going to show you exactly it's just the, like another trigger. Just another fill trigger and start filling and there's how your beet pulp comes out of this factory. And that's all you need. That's that's all you, all this is. That's all this factory does. It essentially takes your sugar beet and spreads it into three different byproducts. Sugar, molasses, and beet pulp. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay. Anyway, so I'm going to finish, finish filling this up. Then we will explore the different, different options with the beet pulp. All right, so here's what's next. Point of farming simulator is to make as much money as quick as possible, right? Right, exactly. That's what I thought. Anyways, so here's what we're looking at. We have three different biogas plants. Two of them are these, these placeable lizard BGAs, and then the other one is the in-map BGA. I did the two because I did something else with... Anyways, it doesn't matter. I have two. Get over it. <laughs> Alright, so... BGAs take all your basic stuff. But when you load into the map with these mods installed, you get these extra cell station stuff and some of these actually will just be built right in to the map like not the edge green vault but uh down here we got supermarket sugar cell point and sugar beet marketplace now that being said you see here the sugar factory which is actually base game or not base game but in this map it takes molasses which is good it's not the highest price for molasses but it's it's pretty close we got we got four thousand which is about about what the, this molasses tops out at i've seen it a few different times and all that fun stuff so there's that not sure what this guy is right here i'm guessing this is loose stuff what is that <laughs> and this is pallets this is the sugar pallets right here you can uh adjust each item to see which one is the highest price which right now is sugar cell point awesome now that being said the sugar cell point i believe is a pallet only cell point anyway so let's go ahead and run three trials the three trials are just selling everything as is as it comes out of the factory then we're going to come back sell the sugar I mean, the sugar we're just going to sell. It's going to be the same price no matter what. So we're just going to sell the sugar right off and we'll write down that number. Okay? But then we're going to sell the molasses and the pulp this time. And next time we're going to make it into the feed pellets over there. And we're going to compare those two prices. And then we're going to try one other thing, I think. All right, so we're going to go ahead and sell each item by itself. So I'm going to run the sugar up to the sugar sell point, which I have placed right over here. We will go check that out real quick here. 
All right, so we are at the sell point, which is, I believe, the best price. Yes. twenty-eight ninety, pretty much. All right, so we're going to go ahead and... You know what? Let me zero out the money real quick. All right, so we are sitting at $0. So at this point, we know exactly what we're going to be making with all this. All right, so we made $41,000 just off of the sugar. Now, one may argue that you'll make more off sugar beets with the BGA and probably can. However, if you're playing on servers, multiplayer, whatever you're doing, you may not always have access to a BGA and or the lizard placeable BGA. Plus, if you're doing a base game mods like that, uh, not base game, but you know what I'm saying. Like, as the mod was down, or, you know, put into the mod hub, basically. If you play like that, then you would be wasting some time doing that, refilling that, too. Because this factory here holds more than 50,000 liters. It holds 72,000 liters, which is awesome. Anyways, so now we're... Right now, yeah. Right now we're going to save it. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so now we have... Uh, Sugar Beet Company uh, Molasses that we can sell. Like I said, it's only 72... Yeah, 70... Alright, cool. So you get uh, 72... 721 liters out of 72,000. So that's about... What, 10%? And then, and then we have 14,000 liters of pulp. And then I don't remember how much sugar that was. It was a lot of sugar. <laughs> Let's be honest. Anyways, so game is saved. Uh, what we're going to do this time, I think we're going to go ahead and um, put this into the pellet factory. Keep in mind, this first process was about a day, maybe a day and a half. So yeah, it's, technically it would be more than what? you could do with the uh, BGA, because the BGA is about a day, you'll burn through that too. Alright, so we got that. Now let's go ahead and grab the uh, molasses real quick here. Alright, so we got the molasses, and we all we need to do is bring it over to the grate, and it will take it out of the pallet, and then the pallet will disappear. Like so. Boom, all done. So we just hop on out. We hear the factory already running. As you see, the uh, beet pulp is there, and the 721 liters of molasses is also there. So we'll go ahead and fast forward time real quick. Alright, so we are all done with this, and it was like, what, half a day? Yeah. So we got 21, 42, 43, yeah. Right here it says it. 50, 50, 50, 5,000 liters of beet pellets. Alright. So, we can sell this. Uh, we do have some extra beet pulp left over, which we will not be able to grab out of the factory. We would have to add more molasses to get more of that from here. So, there is some loss of product if you're only doing this one, one time. But there is that. So, there are multiple things you can do with the beet, or the feed pallets right here. And we'll go back to our little, little itty bitty picture here deal. Did I really say picture deal here? <laughs> I did. Alright, so we got feed pellets. We can either sell that or put it in animal feed. For our purposes right now, we're going to go and uh, sell it. And then we're going to go ahead and put the rest of the beet pulp. Uh, wait, no we're not. <laughs> we're just going to sell the feed pellets because I don't think we have... Any more beet pulp available other than what's inside the factory so we'll do this we'll sell the uh feed pellets real quick yep i was just double checking we do not have any more beet pulp inside the pulp pulp major yeah <laughs> words all right so let's go ahead and check out our feed prices or feed pellet prices which is this icon right here as per the pellet with the beets right there 
All right, so we'll go ahead and just cycle this through. Looks like the best price is as grain bolt, which is right around the corner here. So we got 25, basically 25 hundred dollars that you get from that. So I'm going to go ahead and load up the flatbed and we will see how much we make off of this. All right, we are here at the edge grain vault and we have three pallets. Well, it's technically two pallets, but two and what a quarter. Anyways, let's see what the money is total with this. All right, so we got $51,000 out of 72,000 liters of beets. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so I wrote that down, and basically we're just going to see what is the best avenue. Really, oof, I have my opinions, but we'll see what happens. All right, so we're going to go ahead and exit out of the game and without saving, and we'll pop right back in, and we'll have all of this, the raw materials that we had before. All right, we have loaded back into the game. We have our 721, maybe, yeah. 721 liters of molasses, and we have our 14,400 liters of beet pulp. This time, we're going to go ahead and dump the beet pulp into one of the biogas plants. And we're going to sell the molasses at the highest bidder. There we go. Dumping it right in there. And here we are going to grab the uh, molasses. All right, so where is the best sell point? Yep, just over 4,000. It is the sugar sell point. We'll go ahead and highlight that. And it is down over here. We'll see you guys over there in a second. So yeah, it seems as though this pallet sell point here, the sugar pallet, is the uh, highest price that we get to sell at. So let's go ahead and sell this real quick. See what we get. All right, so we got uh, just under $3,000 from that. Not bad, not bad. But let's go ahead and fast forward time until midnight to see what the BGA gets us with the beet pulp as well. And then we can sell the digestate as well as that point. And we will sell that at the uh, sell anything. I think that's the only thing that buys that on here. All right, so we're almost to midnight. So we're just gonna fast forward just a little bit here and we will be grabbing our prices real quick. All right, so we got a whole six or 8,600 out of that. And we're at 50,000 dollars on that so let's go ahead and grab our digestate real quick all right we're about to sell the digestate here let's see what we end up with <laughs> yeah that almost seems worth it right <laughs> fifty thousand nine hundred ninety three dollars i believe our previous was fifty three thousand dollars so this is kind of a no-brainer that we might as well go ahead and grab the pellet, the feed pellets, and there's one more thing we need to look at. So what we can tell from all of this is it gives you some options with sugar beets. Besides the regular old 259 price, 393 price regular sugar factory. Like, pay no attention to the BGA price because that really does not pertain to what we're doing. Yeah, technically we used it for the, uh, this here, but that was even still more than what this price was for, for map price, uh, whatever it's called, <laughs> uh, pulp, there we go, sugar beet pulp, there we go. Anyways, really the best thing to do with this factory is grab both. But let's look at one more thing. There's another thing on that graph. Or not really a graph, but the uh, picture that we have to look at. And it is this. The other thing we can do with the feed pellets is animal feed. So let's take a look at what changed in the animal feed business. 
All right, so I made the liberty of just getting some sheep, cows, and pigs for the fun of it. You know, whatever. They're way, like I said, way over there. Yeah. So here's what we got. Sheep, it basically acts the same as uh, feed pellets, hay, grass, beet pulp. So, yeah. Not really, it's not that beneficial to give feed pellets versus beet pulp. I don't know. I don't know. It's whatever. You got pigs here. Essentially, it's the same as corn. <laughs> the feed pellets, or you could go beet pulp with the wheat and barley. Now, let's look at the cows. We got beet pulp here in the silage or hay level, or you got feed pellets at the total mixed rotate ration. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that I can harvest beets, dump it in the factory, grab molasses and the pulp and put it in another factory and legit don't really do anything? I don't have to mow grass. I don't have to mash it down in a silage pit or wait the time that it takes to do um, silage. Grab straw, grab hay, put it all together, and make it just right in the food mixer. I can just do it automatically now with these factories right here. Are, are you kidding me? So I guess there's really only one thing left to do. Ta-da! Look at my new business venture! <laughs> you guys are like, Trucker Matthew, you're crazy. No, but am I? Okay, check this out. Each Building costs hardly anything. The thing you really need is time. And you know how much sugar beets you get off of these fields? A whole lot. So really... Okay, so maybe is it a bit too much? Possibly. But you get what I'm saying. The more factories you have the more stuff you'll get in a shorter amount of time. And that's how it is. And really, if you're running 1x time, you're not going to, I mean, shoot, you're going to have all the time in the world to move all the product. That's not an issue. The issue is speed and time, which you don't have. You don't have a whole lot of. So, <laughs> oh, man. Yep, that's, that's, um, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> well that is all we have for today i hope you enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and drop a like and comment what you think of my crazy idea of a sugar beet uh industry facility area <laughs> it's crazy anyways and don't forget if you are new subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so you never miss a future crazy video Join the Matsy Convoy. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Man. And this is how not to use follow me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They're just all going in a bunch of circles. <laughs> I think somehow it glitched into one of the vehicles and that one's following one of these other vehicles and legit they're going like on a figure eight